Have you ever been in a moment where you slow grinding, enjoying someone's daughter? Then 10 strokes deep in, a small little voice at the back of your head decided to say, Do not come. Do not come. Then you dress faster, and that voice says, I'm gonna come. Two minutes into those strokes, this decides to happen. Oh, 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 too soon. Too soon. Well, this doesn't always happen. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Uh, don't move. I know, I know, we've all been in this situation. Don't bust, don't bust, don't bust. Naked old people, naked old people, naked old people. Worry not, I got you. I'm gonna give you three ways to delay or prolong you from busting a nut too quickly. I know, it's really about to get weird. If you know you are a two to five minute man, well, the best move for you to prolong coitus or busting that nut would be spend more time on foreplay. And I know there's always going to be that one dude that's going to be like, hey, why would I want to do that? Well, my guy, if you actually spend five minutes on foreplay alone, by the time you actually get her out and you got two minutes to five minutes, that equates to 10 minutes. Or if you're a two minute dude, then that's literally seven minutes of digging time. So already your time frame to has increased. Obviously to you, it will be shorter, but to her, it will come across as you are lasting longer. So this would be a wise thing to do because it makes you come across as you can go longer than five minutes. Think about it, try it out, do it, it will help you. If the foreplay goes well, she probably would have came during the foreplay. So meaning, by the time you actually penetrate her, she probably would have came even more. And that alone has increased your stroking span by at least 7 minutes to 10, depending if you are a 2 minute to a 5 minute man. Got you. Told you I got you. Obviously, there's always that one dude. Oh no, I do not eat cooch. What do you take me for? That ish is disgusting. Why do you always have to make it so difficult for me? It's fine, it's fine though. I got you. You know that moment when you're hitting it and you were about to bust a nut? Too soon, too soon. Whatever you do, stop that moment. You have two options on what your next move is. The first option would be disengage yourself from the cooch. Allow yourself to breathe. <sighs> but in that moment, what you do is either going to be kissing on her or you can simply continue going down on her, getting a full plate. Make sure that it's grimy. Make sure that she is super slippery wet. Make sure she is as wet as the Niagara Falls. Goddamn. Then when you feel like you've calmed down, you go back in there and you allow her. Or if you like Mr. I don't need cooch, you stop the moment completely while you're in her. I've done this a few times, it's helped. What you would have to do at this point is, I usually play tennis in my head. Obviously, thinking about Serena, her and her yams. What's up? Bear in mind, while this is going on, you're still inside of her. You've stopped the moment. You're distracting your mind. But at the same time, you also want to be in that moment because you don't want to go from stiffy to softy. You don't want that. So you also got to keep yourself interested. If you feel like you're losing it, just stop a little bit. Like I said, I usually go play tennis in my head. You can play whatever sport you're interested in in your head, whether it be soccer, you could be the dude trying to score that goal. If the sport thing doesn't play out, then have music play in the background and sing along to your favorite song while you beating it up. That usually helps because you're distracting your mind. So what I'm basically trying to say to you is do not fully be in that moment. Distract your head. Get all cocky. Feel yourself. Be like, I'm giving this lady the business today. She is getting it fully. I'm knocking her brains out, breaking her back. Usually confidence also helps. And just hope that your hammerhead plays along with you. Last but not least, the best way to go about things sometimes is to actually not rush things. Take your time with it. Ever heard the saying, no rush, no crash, huh? So do not let your need to penetrate someone's daughter to cloud your judgment or over influence your desire to strip her out of her clothes and have her where she stands. 
After all, our biggest sexual organ is our brains. If you're making out with her, and the only thing that's ringing in your head is, God damn, all that booty, all that titty action. Oh my God, she got the yams. Ooh, all those news she's been sending me are just making me yearn for her even more. I just want to have her right now. Best believe you will be in and out of her faster than you'll be in and out of her. So, control your thoughts. For now, let's deal with these few points that I've just given you. I'll be sure to drop you all the part two soon enough. So just deal with the ones that I've given you for now. So remember, just don't do anything I would do. After all, the streets are cold. The people are in heat. However, we're here for a fun time, not a long time. Hey yo, live life.